Hello everybody, welcome to the video, this is Dave Payne, this is for today, see you on screen, thanks for this game, this is Timo's Castle, released in 2024, published by Pikmin Soft, copyrighted by Bell Software Productions, and developed by Pikmin Fly Games, amazing. Of course, have long played it on a live stream, but I wanted to wait for a box version to arrive before we do another proper long play. But if you love Henry's house, because I do, you're going to love this game as well. But yes, I will do a separate video with no webcam or microphone. But today, we'll do it like this. You stream all those games, Zero's Castle. Let's go. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play as Timo McLean, a Scottish prince of a noble house. Despite breaking with all traditions, you reluctantly inherited a country estate with a small castle after your parents died under mysterious circumstances. Together with your girlfriend Amber, you embark on the task of restoring the neglected castle. However, as you dwell into the project, something feels amiss. The golden pains resurface and it becomes apparent that the castle was cursed. And to make matters worse, Amber has suddenly disappeared. Can you unravel the curse and rescue the love of your life? I'm gonna try, but it's really gonna be at the same time we're doing it. It's fantastic, such a good game. Be a big fan of Henry's House, always gonna like this game. But like that game, you could do pretty much the same thing here. Find all the items to put a key on screen. Find a key, and you find exit door, which takes you on to the next room. This is the Castle Gardens. Now, also, you can pick up certain things, like in Henry's House, that also interact with the screen. Something to work for you, and something to work against you. Right, we've got the exit door, we head there, but avoid all enemies on screen. Any remaining time you have is converted to points. There you go, move on. Okay, room two, there's eight in this game. This is the muse. And like in Henry's house, it's far for jump. We'll find the eggs, the horseshoes, and the sword. We call that important key to open the door. They get 50 points for every small item you find, 500 points for every large item you find, and hidden items are 1,000 points. Extra lives awarded every 20,000 points. And like in Henry's house, you do have fall damage, depending on which difficulty you're doing it on. If you do it on easy, you have no fall damage, or you don't have a time limit either. If you do it on normal, which I'm doing here, you do have fall damage, and also do have a time limit, not one that kills you. Any time remaining in the level is converted to points. But yes, it's... Best to do it on easy first, that way you sort of find out what is good platforms, what are bad platforms, what can you step onto and what can you not step onto. Right, so we've got to try and find all the eggs, and the final one is going to be laid by that chicken, which is a golden egg. But yes, watch that fall damage, but yes, every time you find items, it's going to put more enemies on screen. So find the egg, and that puts the next key on screen, which says it's level. Right there, go to the carriage. Right, so the exit is up there, so you've got to try and find the best possible route to get up there, but you do have the occasional pixel perfect, and also the jump is very kind as well, but you can actually change direction in mid-flight. Just make sure it's not falling from a great big massive height. But there we go. 250 remains, we get points for that. Okay, room three is the wine cellar. Now, what I like about this game also, and it's the same in Hemi's house, is when you get to another room and you lose all your lives, it's game over. It doesn't put you back to the start of the game, it puts you back to the start of that level. But yes, you do lose all your score, but it's a nice way of doing it. It allows you to try and master each level. And you can also pick up your items any all your life. That scroll at the bottom, that's going to leave that to the end. Right, so of course, the screen's now full up with half of wine, which you can't go into. I don't even think you by if you say you're never too long. That I don't know. Stop the corks from firing, pick up the cork. And there's also an enemy over there, which I found out from practice, you have to kill by jumping on its head. There's not many enemies you can kill though. But jump on the spider, get a thousand points bonus, and it takes you out of the equation altogether. Right, now we'll go into the wine, which of course will affect your movements. But yes, I tend to leave this to the end, which summons the toast to a ghost. I like the bats of Henry's house, it will follow you. Not quite as mean though, but it will try and lure them away from where you want to go. In this case, it's that key area at the far right of the screen. Which then allows it to get to the exit door. So, because he follows you, you've got to try and lure him away from the exit. So you can jump over him. So jump up there. And jump over there. There you go. 280 that time. Room all clear. We go on to room four. Room 4 is a drawing room. Again, I love the level designs of this game. Every room is done so well. But on this one, the exit door is not really where you expect it to be. But I suppose Henry's house was like that also. But yes, there's a lot of trial and error in this game. There's platforms you might think are safe to go onto, but they're not. 
all these platforms you might think are not safe to go onto, but they are. It can be like that. So yes, yeah, so we'll try and find a cup of tea, which of course is fine with me. I drink gallons of it. And also pick up the balloons. And this opens up another hatch, which provides you another smack on the step onto, which is very short and sweet. Jump onto the chandelier, pick up the balloon. And down there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult with the fall damage, but of course, there's, again, a lot of try and error with that. And of course, there's so many platforms around. So it's experimenting, really, and see what's best for you. But of course, the time limit doesn't kill you. It's just a, a handy way to get additional points. I and mean, we could have been not mean on this one and have the time limit kill you. I don't think they would have done that. They're not that mean. Right, we'll get over there now. So jump over the bear heads. <laughs> There you go, where is it? Up there is a hammer, pick up the hammer. But the exit door is actually the fireplace. And it was actually a fireplace in Henry's house, but killed you. But then so much did in that game. But so much does here as well, but not too bad in along the way though. Okay, room five is Timo's chamber. Got to try and find all of the floppy disks. Difficult room this one, but yeah, the most difficult enemy on this one by an absolute long shot is that dart. However, you can take it out of the equation and pick up a certain item. But we're going to pick up the lava lamp, which puts a disco ball on screen. It can kill you if not careful. Ugh. Right, fly like a hawk, it said. Now pick up the roller boots, it makes you move even faster, which is difficult when you've got full damage, but it does wear off. Are you keeping up with the Commodore, or is the Commodore keeping up with you? Right, so there. Right, so now, we turn the computer on, which puts the dartboard in place. You've got to try and hit the dartboard. Now, the points are awarded depending on how well you hit the dartboard. You get a bullseye, you get a thousand points. Of course. Now, Parachute did also feature in Heavy's house. It features here also. Short and sweet, though. I didn't know a lot about that. What did we get? I didn't even see. I pick up the envelope. Uh, right, we head over to the left and pick up the last remaining floppy disk. Where is it? Right, on the right. Okay. You can be killed by the musical notes. And don't be killed by Wilson. Yes. Wilson! There you go. Over there. Now we head over to the bottom of the screen. So just retrace your steps, actually, uh... Well, I suppose you can do it like that, like that. Just watch that full damage. Ran out of time on that one, though. Never mind, room is clear. Okay, room six is the castle library. Good stage, but by far the easiest of the game. Still good, though. But you shouldn't die by falling last instances. Not many areas in this level you can, but you can jump over the false teeth. And the jumping was a vast improvement on this game, it was in Heavy's house. A few moments in that game where jumping over an enemy or hazard that can find space is quite difficult to do, which took a life or two. One of them took place in the playroom, trying to jump over a jack in the box was difficult. And also in the lounge, trying to jump over a cuckoo cock was quite difficult also. But here, no issues at all. But you cannot jump on or jump off of the ladders. And if you find all the books, you get 1,000 points bonus. And that should be the final one. There's the key. And the first time I played it, I couldn't figure out where the keys were. I heard the sound, I couldn't figure out where the sound came from. But there it is. So find the best route. Uh, you can jump over him, but it's a very slow moving enemy, this one. <clears throat> Yeah, some walls will block your progression. So down here, down here, down here. And go up there. <laughs> Just. Go move all clear. It's a little lazy that time. Right, go on to room seven. There are eight rooms to master in Timo's castle. In each room, you'll find smaller and larger items to pick up. Get them all, and some large items will trigger some actions. As soon as you have them all, a key will appear. If you manage to clear all rooms without a continue, you'll see a happy ending. In addition, you can change for the high score, collect digital points by finishing the level as fast as you can. 
And we go from the easiest level to the most difficult. I try and avoid that item and actually throw the toast into the air, which is difficult to avoid. Right. I'm loving it. And there's a burger. Also, try and pick up the post-its off the fridge. But the finishing point is actually that oven. In fact, you've got to actually cook that turkey, which gives you another golden egg. Right, I've avoided it once. I will not avoid it again. Now I've got to pick it up. Which throws it into the air. Like the lawnmower goes absolutely everywhere on screen. Right, uh... I don't know how you actually avoid dying here. I die every time. Falling from a large distance. I don't know how you avoid it. There we go. One more remains. Of course, you resume play where you died. Avoid that toaster. There was a toaster in the first game as well. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Bad run. Bad level. Right, now we've got to try and cook it. Just don't be killed by it. Really died again. I stand on the bin. Right, probably going to run out of time again on this one. So yes, the moment of time, you must avoid at all costs. Right, there it is. Key nearby, it's always handy when it happens. Now we head to the ladder. That takes us to the final stage, which takes place in the attic. But once again, time has beaten me. We have beaten the stage, but a few lives were lost on that one. There we go. Move all clear. Time bonus of a bit fat zero. Press button to continue. Okay, room eight is the spooky attic. So basically, it's you against the witch. What we're gonna try and do is basically jump on each of these pots, we say, I think they are, but do it in limited time. Now, if you pick up a frog, that makes your skills a bit faster, makes you jump faster, makes you move faster. You jump on her head, and you've got a limited amount of time to do it. I think it's three in total. When you're slow, which you currently are, it makes it difficult. Get the frogs, they should finish every so often. Watch that fall damage. So basically, she uses. Oh my lord! Enemies that are featured in the game against you. There you go, there's the key. And there's the love of your life. The room power, all the rooms are clear. There we go, back to the top of the screen we go. That's Timo's Castle, amazing game on the CG4, copyright 2024, Balboa Software Productions, Pixel Pry Games, it's J Rules Games. Please like and comment, you find me on most platforms, like more Game Fight Feed easily. Look at this, do have me making and live streaming Friday night, you can sign at 8 o'clock, it's our week. This is Dee. Ciao bye, see ya. So there we go, in the box, got many, many things, including a deed of ownership. There we go. Castle McLean. And also you've got a key, which is basically a USB. And that must touch on that. And in there should be my CD soundtrack CD. It is, I have got it. It's just not in there. It's coming in my CD player. Yeah. Okay, so the game is Timo's... Timo's Castle. Timo's Castle. Is it Timo's or Timo's? Timo's. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. Developed by Pixel Prize Games and published by Pigment Soft. You play as Timo McLean, a Scottish prime of... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play as Timo McLean, a Scottish Prime Prime Prince. prince, 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 prince. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play as Timo McLean, a Scottish Prince of the Noble House. Despite breaking up with a royal to do <coughs> However, as you dwell into the project, something feels amiss. Scott and pains the surface and it becomes apparent that the house is house. It's a castle, Jamie. It's a castle. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play it as Timo McLean. As scut 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 scut. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play it as Timo McLean, a Scottish prime. 
Prime Prince. You said Prime for some reason. Okay, so the game is Timo's Castle. You play it as Timo McLean, a Scottish prince of noble house. Despite breaking royal traditions, you reluctantly inherited a country state with a small castle after your parents died under mysterious circumstances. Together with your girlfriend Amber, you embark on the task of restoring the elected elected castle. Is this too loud? I don't know. Now, do you die if you stay in the wine for too long? Well, I figured it out. It's actually more pixelated than I thought it was. But yeah, you go right on the edge of the bin and get all three of them. Unfortunately, I figured it out after I did the long play. But never mind, we'll know for next time. No. I think we confirmed that's a no. You don't die if you stay too long under the wine. 